right? If it's a pain, like uh, you have a shoulder pain, elbow pain, because I mean, remember, the changes in the organ in the tissue is not psychological. Like this is not like it's in your head. There's nothing wrong with your shoulder. No, there's real, like it's a rotator cuff tear or there's an inflammation that's affecting that area. So when it's a pain, I believe when you know what it is, yes, it will calm down because your body will try to close the issue. However, if you can't do things the way you want, right? And like you need your shoulder to do whatever. And every time I go do something like it hurts, that creates a second devaluation. So for shoulder, I'm using that as an example, which is something's not right with my shoulder. So the more you feel the pain, the more you reinforce in your head, something's just not right with the shoulder, which means at that point, you, you could know that it started because I stopped talking to my brother six months ago because we got in a big fight. So it's a relationship guilt issue. That's what started it because we started to reconcile, but it's still not the same. But it's better. It got better when you figured it out. But if you need it and the pain like persists, then you also devalue it. That's a new shock separate from your brother issue. Do you see? It's like something's not right with my shoulder, which is why you get people that have chronic pain. They fall off a horse at eight. Everything's fine on X, everything's okay, but then they, they still get pain in their back when they're 25 or 35, and they're like, it must have been still the same one when I fell off the horse. Like, what, why? That, that already healed. But there's a new issue because you think in your head, I have a bad back, so you keep devaluing that area, so then the tissues tear and try to rebuild because you say they're not strong enough, so they're gonna try to rebuild stronger than before. The rebuilding is gonna cause pain and inflammation. It's like working out at the gym, right? You want to bench press your weight, you're tearing your pecs. Three days later, they're going to hurt and they're going to be swollen. They're going to be inflamed. But then you allow it to heal. You don't bother with it. It's not a big deal. You just don't do the same thing. You can go back to the gym and work out your pecs again, right? It's the same physiological response, except when you tell your brain something's not right here, then the brain reacts by saying, okay, I'll fix it. Let me tear those muscles and rebuild stronger ones. But then the rebuilding causes pain. If you're not thinking of your shoulder pain as if I worked it out at the gym, you're gonna now create another shock which is gonna create more pain, it's gonna make it chronic. Which is why in that scenario, when it's pain usually, you have to get like therapy. <laughs> like it's one thing for you to get it, but somebody to be working on it, giving you exercises, doing ultrasound, like manual, it's like, oh, it feels good when they do that. And you go periods where there's no pain because not only do you know what it is, it's getting worked on, you're getting taken care of, that allows you to break that pattern so then now you don't have a pain, uh, all of a sudden your shoulder pain is gone. But that's the problem, right? This is why most athletes, and like I have friends that are chiros that treat like hockey players, professional baseball players, and they tell me, they're like, you know what? There's something to this. Because you'd be surprised how many people, it's a sprained ankle, man. Like, I don't know why they're not getting better. Like, there's gotta be an emotional thing, and you know what? They tell me months later, they're in the middle of some issue with their spouse or their agent. Like, so he know, he's like, there's no physical explanation, but that's the missing component because the self devaluation regarding relationship causes it, but also a devaluation, like something's not right, causes it to continue. So you have to break both when it's pain. So yes, in that scenario, if you don't really know GNM, like you just sort of learned it, it's not just gonna go, like, it's gonna calm down because it's to do with my brother and yeah, yeah, I got it, we're good now. It's gonna feel better. But if in your mind, oh, he said it's gonna feel better in like four days and in like five days it still hurts a little bit, you could now devalue it because it's like, oh, no, it's still something not right there. That causes a new shock, which will mean a new impact in the brain, a new uh, ulceration of the muscles of the rotator cuff, which now you're stuck in that cycle a little bit. Because it's like, if every time you worked out and you felt delayed onset muscle soreness, you believe something was really wrong with your muscles, right? Mm -hmm. You see how nobody thinks that way when they come from the gym? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like, how symptomatic is that? It's like, it, you know, if you've never been at a gym and then you're now bench pressing your weight and you've never done it, you can only do it three times and you tore every pec muscle. For the next three days, you can't even lift up a glass of water, but you're not going to the ER for that. Because in your head, it's like, because I was stupid, I shouldn't have done that at the gym. Mm -hmm. But you see what I mean? So you don't devalue yourself mm -hmm. necessarily. Mm -hmm. But when you don't know, like when it's a shoulder pain that you woke up with it, right away, it's like, man, what the, 
am I getting old? Like, what is this? I can't believe it. I got, I, I was going to do this next week. Like, like it's one devaluation leads to another, leads to another. It becomes a chronic pain, which then, yes, you can't just turn that off. You have to now, what started it? What was the issue? But then now you have to break the pattern of thinking there's something wrong. 